stump by Nirvana High Ballad. Huh? These idiots were so preoccupied that everyone on Earth caught on fire. Our oh, heroes travel back in time to tell their past selves how to make global warming decline. Oh, Our tributes and using spells and traps one time. Journey rules are the reason we'll survive. The reason we'll survive. The reason we'll survive. Well, once again, we have come to Junior Journey format with perfect, impeccable, clean, zero mistakes, zero cheating gameplay. As always. But after we created our Forbidden and Limited list, the Junior Journey community took off with it. 2015 has had some of the coolest decks Junior Format has had to offer yet, and with that in mind, I am so excited to bring you this round's tournament report. Now, the major tournament when it comes to the Junior Journey Discord is one called Future Visions, a tournament where they use the Forbidden and Limited list from our most recent filmed episode before the episode comes out to innovate the format for the next round. And boy, did they come up with some incredible things. It's two rounds of Swiss plus a top cut and the first round of swiss was topped by this a problem someone from the dark came up with a phenomenal volcanic stall burn deck and it turns out that the problem card for this deck is the one you see on the screen right now volcanic counter it turns out when you can arbitrarily take massive amounts of battle damage being able to burn your opponent right back and then whittle them away is a very strong strategy fortunately some other incredible decks came to the rescue in this tournament and for the rest of this Swiss round. A first place finish in the next round of Swiss, which runs one of my favorite cards from Junior Journey 2015, Bird of Paradise Lost. Gains 100 attack for every tuner in the graveyard, which does include all the hand traps, and can discard a tuner to take control of an opponent's monster for the turn, which is nuts. There is a reason why brain control is banned in this format, and the fact that you can summon it for free off of Yazi just icing on the cake. Third place at this tournament was probably my favorite list of them all, Psy Frames. This is such a sick deck, folks. It uses the Psy Frames as they were intended to be used. They're hand traps that set up the banished zone for some pretty sick things. This deck is so cool. And while I've been told it is not the greatest at getting its to its win condition, it is supremely difficult to kill. And I mean, these cards are just sick. What can I say? Kyla is back at it again with Tiny Beast Turbo. These are a lot of hits from the previous version of 2015 combined with the power of the little beasts to make some amazing Xyz, especially Ronin, Raccoon, Sandayu. This is a pretty stock standard deck combining the little beasts with the newer cards from 2015, but I'm always happy to see this one. And finally, I want to show off Burn Falco's Yazi Turbo deck. And this is another one of those sick things that could only exist in junior format. We've got the ability to summon any Yangzing from your deck using Giant Pearfish, a card I'm sure most of you have never seen before in your life. It is an instant synchro monster of pretty much any Yangzing you could want. And it incorporates possibly the funniest card I have ever seen used in Junior Journey, Battle Tuned. You know why Battle Tuned is sick? It's because Bird of Paradise Lost is a tuner. You can randomly give your monsters 2,700 additional attack at any time. This card is an OTK powerhouse. And by the way, not a once per turn. This deck is so cool and so were all of the others from this round i'm so excited every time i get to check out what the junior journey discord has been up to and if you want to join in with them you can check out the link in the description below for the discord and without further ado let's see what our contestants have brought to today's duels What's going on, Junior Journey enthusiasts? It's your boy, Bean Soldier TV, and today we're gonna rip open the format with rank four good stuff. Thank you to the Junior Journey Discord for helping supply me with the list because this thing is absolutely broken and it's one of the best combo decks that I've seen for the format. The whole point of this deck is to loop into multiple Lavalval Chains as well as King of the Feral Imps to go into a loop with Trick Clown and Thousand Blades, which is gonna enable us to have a rank four every additional turn. We also 
get to play some really broken cards that not many other decks get to play, like Shockmaster, Exciton Knight, Dweller, and we also get to play some powerful synchros like Naturia Beast and Trishla. We also have the ability to play one of the most broken instant fusion targets ever printed with Elder Entity Norden, which is also going to be one of our best extenders to make an additional rank 4 on top of our already established board. We're also playing some of really good solemn cards like Solemn Scolding and Solemn Warning to protect our board, as well as force back to negate some normal summons. In the side deck, we have DD Crow, Ghost Ogre, and Gamma to stop some of the decks that are going to be problematic if we face them like Burning Abyss, also DDD, and maybe even Necroz as well. So let's see what happens and let's get into the games. What's up guys, Jackson MS here from the Curry Bandits, and today on a very special episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Junior Journey, we are going to Battery all over those men. Yes, today we are playing Battery Men. Thank you to Aslan and I Wish I Was Dead for putting me onto this list as well as my moderators, Coco Burr and Cezetta, for helping me to refine it. And the main mission statement here is that Battery Man Charger can be normal summon without tributing, and therefore can facilitate a long conga line of assholes to break boards and end games very quickly. In addition, we are also playing a lot of rank 5 monsters like Constellar Pleiades, one of the best Xyz monsters in the game right now, made only more broken by the existence of Galaxy Soldier, which can make Pleiades for basically free. Speaking of the best cards in the game right now, Brilliant Fusion is legal, and it can make a rank 5 all on its own by using Jack's Knight and... Uh, Gem Knight Lazuli as material, but even when you're not using it to make an Xyz monster, Gem Knight Seraphonite is just incredible value in a format where normal summons are probably at their strongest, so we're going to be taking a lot of advantage of that in this match. We're also on a Cyber Dragon package, just in case Bean Soldier TV is on some sort of machine strategy, we can pivot on to a Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, but even without that, Cyber Dragon is still a very strong rank 5 extender, so we'll see how that works out in the games. I'll see you there. Well, RJ, the number one thing I think we can glean from the last episode is that you and I both play fair. I am i don't think we've ever uh, mismanaged any of the rules on this uh, show where we completely invented the rules, right? Absolutely not. And we definitely haven't uh, cheated with cards that we played competitively and have recently played on other series multiple times. I can't relate to that at all. I plan on cheating a lot this episode. I will also okay, cheat well, a lot. At, le <laughs> at least you're both very honest about it. Uh, we have got two fantastic fledgling Yugi tubers, the inventor of 10 minute testing. I'm talking about the Curry Bandits. Is that is that how I should refer to you? Yeah, I mean that's how that's how people in my comments section refer to me anyway. And we've got, of course, the inventor of sealed only Yu-Gi-Oh! Bean Soldier TV. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, At least we, I live with the guy that Bean does Soldier it. TV on here because he's the only person who uh, stomachs playing Tier Limit Mirrors this format and. Uh, you know, I wanted to show some gratitude for that. They're fun, I promise. Speaking of fun, are you two ready to 2015 it up? Absolutely. Oh yeah, I'm ready to. Uh, what, what was what was popular around this time? Let's uh, let's shut up and dance with me, folks. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Very true. What's Avengers Age oh, of Ultron? Oh my goodness! <laughs> you made me go first. I don't. I don't what do you think? I want to play? <laughs> no, <Nah>, we're. <laughs> I guess not. We're going to start with uh, a fun card. Let's go. We're going to start with Goblin Berg. Ooh, he's my favorite. Oh. We're going to use Goblin Berg's effect. Ooh, he's a little goblin. <laughs> he's Bergen. We're going to summon Heroic Challenger Assault Halberd. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, my. Yeah. I'm a little confused as to what the payoff for a rank four strategy oh, is. Oh, you're going to find out. You can normal I, summon blue eyes. I'm ready. You're going to find out. Okay, we're going to go into Lavalval Chain. Oh, okay. I have card. now located the payoff. <laughs> uh huh. We're gonna activate Lavalval Chain. Is that okay? That's that's um that's perfectly fine. Yeah. We're gonna send Trick Clown and activate Trick Clown. Oh, we're playing Clown Blast. Oh go. yeah, we are. <laughs> Here okay, he comes. Like a thousand. Okay. I'm gonna special summon Gigabyte. Love this man. Yeah. That's that's it. That's yeah. That's that's Gigabyte. All right. There he is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's lean, he's green, um, and he's ready to go under a, an Xyz monster. Yeah, we'll he's being played by the bean. True. <laughs> oh, good. Right, yes. This is not a hard once. Yeah. Yo, he's going to make you empty. This is not making it out of the episode. <laughs> RJ, do you think we may have made exactly one mistake? I don't know. What I'm looking at on the board right now is a neg two for the purpose of summoning two copies of Sea Serpent Warrior for, of Darkness. I have yet to be convinced that Lavalval Val Chain is a problem. Hey, this is not gonna... Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. This is Sea Serpent Warrior of yeah. Fireness. There's a difference. <laughs> That's true. That is very true. I don't think this guy's row is even renowned in the Dark World. Okay. 
Add the hat tricker. We're gonna special the hat tricker. Right. We're gonna activate instant fusion. Ah, another oh, card. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely going to be in 2016. For just every Bubby's <laughs> favorite card, Norden. Norden Woo! was out. Norden, Norden was is out. out. Oh, you know what else I think might be out now that I'm looking at Drush? Hmm, that's crazy. Oh, here he comes. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> I wonder what card's gotta... out. <laughs> right. He's a Shockmaster. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to activate Shockmaster. Fuck you. Oh, <laughs> no way. Get a job. <laughs> no. <laughs> Touch grass. <laughs> Nice deck, <laughs> I just been I've been sitting on that like I guess so. <laughs> Loser. I guess so. Mm. Yeah. Some <laughs> um huh. It was a great turn, wasn't it? You really did you have a good time? <laughs> yeah, that was great. You can have fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, being soldier TV, you you summoned a lot of level fours, but you do not account yes, for I did. the far greater level five. Oh, no. 20 trillion dead. Oh, no. World is a fuck. <laughs> Battery man oh, charger. God. Effect okay? <laughs> yep. Yep, it's okay. Ladies and gentlemen. This is really fun. I do love that some people, when uh, faced with the Junior Journey rule set, they think of, like, the biggest guy they can summon. Uh, and some people go, what if Battery man charger had one fewer star? <laughs> so true. I mean, he's got 1,800. That's, that's, that's a level four. <laughs> We still only clear two monsters with this because we can't make a rank five oh, no. right now. No, no, no. We're clearing the whole oh, thing. We're, we're clearing all right. So we're going to oh summon Fuel God. Cell. Yeah. And then we're going to summon Fuel Cell. Oh, <laughs> God. We might be dead. It might be over. We're, we're, we're one we're, very specific card away from the end of this. We're getting rid yeah. of that. Yeah. And yeah. I don't believe this is game, but this is as game as it's going to get. Uh, this goes back to your extra, so you can maybe Shockmaster later. Yeah, you. Oh, it, it bounces. You are free to get it hand trapped again <laughs> if you'd like. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go to battle, and we're going to attack with this twenty-seven hundred charger. Okay, so I'll take what nine, and then we're gonna attack over this one. This is just twenty-one, and then we'll trigger the trick clown. That's fine. That's fine. Take two thousand. Literally just saving 1,100 life points. I respect it. Yep. And then we're going to main phase two. And we're going to go for Strike Bouncer. Yep. Yep. I was wondering. I was yep. like, oh, there is a payoff for sixes, isn't there? Yep. Yes, there is. And you're free to have a great turn. Yeah. About that great turn. <laughs> it's going to be a good one. It's good. We're going to make the turn great again. <laughs> Welcome oh, to 2015. No. Um, oh, no. <laughs> I don't think I can live. <laughs> yep, just go ahead. Let's go. I respect it. Um, So we're going to normal summon another 9 volt. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that yep. makes sense. And that's going to get us our lovely, amazing, beautiful fuel cell that we're just going to shortcut here. Yep. Folks, don't we love them? We love our fuel cells. And we're going to get rid of this back row. Yeah. yeah. Let's just go battle phase. Yep. Clear this. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Trillion wow. dead. <laughs> World is a fuck. Oh Battery man God. charger, folks. <laughs>Oh, you're that was dead. a crazy game one. A crazy game one. Almost as crazy as the fact that China has devalued the Renibinibi amidst economic slowdown. Red you all remember that from earlier this year, right? Yeah, for so sure. Actually, so I was studying economics while this was happening, and everybody was acting like that individually was the end of the world. Really? Yeah. I didn't even hear about it because I was being fruity on a stage. We're going we're, we're gonna to leave this turn with um, the... The, the most bannable card of all time, a uh, Galaxy Soldier. Ah, uh, I mean, oh my I don't, god. I we're we're gonna. What? <laughs> what is that? What is going on? Oh my god. Oh, wait. Oh, what hold is, the fuck up. What is up, up guys? Jaxel's Knight here game. from the Jokery Bandits. And today we're gonna summon Galaxy Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what the fuck? What? Where did this come from? Um, Is it because he's a level 5 light? Is that what's going on here? Is that how we're being punked? 
It's some dark witch shit Folks. going on here today. <laughs> it, it, I need to think. Yeah, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. All right. We grab the other Jack's Knight. <laughs> yeah, ja Jack's Knight is secretly a galaxy <laughs> card. I mean, this is basically like a power crep Jack's Knight, if you think about it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, I guess, technically. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, and uh, there yeah. he is, Constellar oh Pleiades. This yep. card is the ultimate world as a fuck. <laughs> I love this guy. Folks, did you I know that if so you much. resolve Galaxy Soldier, you just, um, uh, you get to win the game? <laughs> the whole okay. turn. Have a good one. Passing turn, that's all we need. <laughs> like, yeah, this is... Okay. Stand by, main. Okay, we're going to start with Special Summoning Assault Halberd. Got you. Normal Goblinberg. What's the effect? Goblinberg, we love to see him. Mm hmm. We love to see a Green King winning. I'm gonna summon Thousand Blades. Oh, okay. We have found the blades. I only got the blades. Right, do we have the third heroic card in hand to resolve Thousand Blades, though? <laughs> no, we do not. <laughs> Unfortunate. God, Thousand mm -hmm. Blades was printed in 2015, but it reads like a 2020 card. I look at this card effect and my eyes immediately gloss over. Yeah. I almost lost a round of uh, uh, Dual Logs' as Who Wants to Be a Millennium Heir? Because it was like, which heroic card has Thousand Blades' as effect? And I was like, oh, one that came out in 2021 for sure. Mm, this is a, quite a card. I do think I, I am forced to get rid of that. Fair enough, fair enough. Activate instant fusion. For sure, wow. for sure. Ah, here we go. <laughs> it's strange, it's like, instant fusion's certainly a great card there, um, but pales in comparison to instant fusion now. I see why you're playing this, Mr. Soldier TV. It's True. It's functionally just tier <laughs> lament. It literally is. It's kit. It's kit close. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll do Norden. So we'll bring back the Goblinberg. Got you. We'll overlay these. What are the stats on Shockmaster again? Is that more than 2,500? Uh, he's only 23. He's only 23. Got you, got you. I just wanted to hear you yep. say it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Appreciate it. I just wanted a verbal confirmation that you're that you're screwed, buddy. Uh, yeah. Just uh, wait. He's going to summon nah, we're Gem good, Knight we're good, Pearl we're good. and own you. No! We don't often get evil guests on our show. I'm really, I appreciate. Oh this. yeah, <laughs> I'm, I, my 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 Patreon tiers are thief, criminal, and uh, whatever the hell the other two are for a reason. We'll still go for the chain. Sure, sure. You have the like level ten thug versus the level one hundred <laughs> mafia boss. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tiers. <laughs> oh, okay, so we trick go. clown okay. does deal damage. D All right, yes. Now we're now we're playing the game. Yeah, and now I'll trigger the Thousand Blades. Sure, sure. Are you there sure you don't want to yeah. use the other effect of Thousand Blades, though? Are we, are we confirmed? Absolutely, okay. 100%. <laughs> oh, hold up, hold up. We have to repair this game state. Uh-oh. Okay. Thousand Blades has to be summoned in a Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh my you God. You filthy <laughs> cheater. That is that is critical sorry, to cheating. The game. Go cheating. into the comments right now and <laughs> cancel <laughs> this man. <laughs> <laughs> Please post Bean Soldier TV's home address. Don't don't do that, please. It's like doxing like five different Yu Gi tubers at once. I don't want to get swatted. <laughs> Summon Gigabyte. Nice. Are we are we bongoing some rongos? No, 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 okay. no, no, no. Uh, we will do another Lavalvel chain. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll go for Lavalvel. Daring today, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> And I will send a glow up bulb. Oh, oh. you're on. Oh, oh. wait, wait. That's Someone has been in the glow up bulb. I'm gonna use the glow up bulb. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And we're gonna synchro for nine. Damn, I that's wonder crazy. what it could be. And we're going for Trish. All right. Uh, okay. So which card from field would you like to banish? There's a lot of choices mm, here. There are a lot of choices. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's do this one. Uh, you got fuel cell. Okay, yeah, it's got to be one, Jack's one. Knight here, right? <laughs> yeah, and we got to banish the Jack's Knight. Always. We'll go to battle, and we'll get in for some damage. Sure. This is 18, 18, and 27. Now we hit him with UDF. These are some bungus ass decks. True. <laughs> 
I love this game state because despite the fact that Jaxel just got totally owned on the last turn, the normal summon of a blue eyes white dragon probably still just wins the game right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just so everyone at home knows, we were seconds away last episode from unbanning Blue Eyes or unlimiting it, and then we're told in a DM that maybe we should even move him to Forbidden. Uh. <laughs> He's just like still <laughs> too good. Unfortunately, though, uh, I don't. I don't seem to have the Blue Eyes right now, so uh, we are going to a game three. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Wow. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> After recovering from the terrible, awful cheat last game, I am ready to move on and pretend... I'll cheat again. ...as though nothing happened. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's see how this goes. Okay. You know what? I think you can go ahead. Ah! Ooh, what? It's that type of clown blade hand, huh? Bold move versus battery, man. Could, could be anything. Oh, could be, be anything. anything. Could be anything. Folks, 20 trillion <laughs> dead. Whirl is a fuck. Are, are you having trouble uh, juggling all those cards in your hand? Yeah, I'm going to gamma that. <gasps> oh! <What? laughs> you what? sick son of a bitch. <laughs> Wait, gamma was out? Yeah, 2015. I didn't know that. I, I didn't know it was out this year. <laughs> um, I think I, I don't have like a play. But I have a thing I can do. Uh, we're okay. going to pitch okay. Turtle to summon Soldier. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's funny. Okay, yeah, yeah that's, that's very funny. Into a Soldier effect. <coughs> so sure. comedy joke for sure. Add the other Soldier. But yeah, now uh, is... with no normal summon, uh, you're good to go. Okay. Wow, this is just like the Trans Pacific me, Partnership being redone while turtle. the EU rebuffed Greece's demand for austerity relief. End the battle phase. Okay. okay. It's crazy. <laughs> hmm. I mean, there's a reason this card was in the Shadow Structure deck. It's because <laughs> Konami ran out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, what if we put another good card to Foolish Burial? I mean, there's only so many archetype. light monsters. Uh, there's like a few. <laughs> oh, Goblin Brick. That's fine. Let the clowning begin. Oh, what? Who what? Who that, that was in the opening? I had no idea that was coming. <laughs> it's very funny that this card is um, uh, also Karibo. Yes. Okay. Oh, Lavalwell Chain. That's fine. Go for Glow Bulb. Sure. Oh, this deck is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Mm. The Instant Fusion? Uh, it's really cool. Yep. You keep opening mm -hmm. this. Too. I know, right? It's like really I, excellent. It. it <laughs> It's really taking the, the band spotlight off of my deck, you know, when you keep activating these good <laughs> yeah, cards. <laughs> um, let me think about that. Hold on. Um, we're going to veil that effect. That, okay, your that effect is, is completely bizarre. understandable. Yeah. Okay. Wow. We will... Damage juggler? Sure. Hat tricker. Damn, this just does it anyway, huh? Yep. Yeah, we'll summon the hat tricker. Uh, summon glow bulb. You got it, boss. Oh, oh that's hit. a good decent, mill. Decent oh. hit. That's a really good mill. Um, that's fine. You've we'll already resolved. Ice. It, so. <laughs> yeah. Me when oh, me good. when the level yeah. is four. We'll go, Trishula. Shocker. Sure. So we're just like flexing at this point, summoning the extra guy. Nice. Oh. Okay. See if we hit anything good. Yep. Yep, folks. <laughs> oh. That's yep. pretty good. Okay. Um I'm going to banish the glow up bulb. Okay. Or gigantic. No shot. What? Oh, cool. oh, we're, we're fucking dead. It's over. I see. Um we'll go battle. I see that we have died. Oh no, we're just a little off. Is, we're a little off. We're a little off. Card. Are we uh, a little off? Uh, I... Unfortunately we are actually a little off. Folks, we are a little off. We, we are a little, off. Off. a little off. Just a little off. Uh, do we maybe have something oh. in the extra that would resolve this? You know, I really uh, thought shooty, about playing that card. Shooty, rootin' tooty guy? You know, it'd be crazy if I didn't play it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it no. would have been, yeah. I mean, there's no not. time rules in Junior Journey. Why would you play that shit? <laughs> exactly, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we might as well just, you know, go for another Lavalval chain. 
Uh, always. Oh, Just wow. keep keep chaining. There it is. <coughs> yep. Keep this train wreck a rolling. Um, this really is tier lament with all these chains. And we'll send a thousand blades. Gotcha. Yeah, go ahead. All right. <laughs> Time to come all back, we need, baby. Uh, you know, folks. Um, you know, it's been a great run. Uh, let me pay all these life points I have. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh no. no! What a rip. Yeah, uh, it. it uh, I wouldn't have even really done it because, like, this this hand's kind of kind of. Kind of, kind of clogged anyway. Um, oh. Wait, did we leave Kieran legal? You put it to we one. We did like leave five Kieran legal. Yeah, put it to We're one. Kind that, was of not, that was not very smart. No. <laughs> <laughs> very stupid of us. Wow, that was actually pretty interesting. I'm shocked. <laughs> it doesn't happen often. Yeah, these were definitely some interesting decks. Uh, I did not expect to see Battery Men in the year of our Lord 2015, but here they are, courtesy of the normal summonable, basically tour guide from the Thunder World in Charger. I mean, what can I say? Oh. 20 trillion dead, uh, Jack's Knight. Uh, I wish I wish I was dead. Uh, <laughs> I, he's just... Was, of was course this a it from was. the man himself? It, of was course it was. It was at least sent to me by him. He said, um, he told me like someone else uh, started the concept. Uh, and I came to the conclusion that uh, uh, Bean Soldier TV is a, is a rat bastard who cheated. <laughs> you cheated so hard. <laughs> that is true. Um, he literally only won because he cheated. We won uh, this junior journey by a lot, folks. <laughs> yeah. Um, For sure. Mr. Soldier TV, your deck was sick as well. Thank true. You. It was great. You can also think, um, of, I wish I was dead. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Proxy war, but versus well, himself um, this time. <laughs> <laughs> this is this, just, this I wish I was, was dead awesome. testing for the next junior tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this deck was awesome, but another thing that it was is bullshit. And so, Jaxel, would you like to take some pieces of Bean Soldier TV's deck out behind the shed? Oh, yeah. You know, I think um, fusion monsters are wonderful and all that, but... um. I'm not too big of a fan of ones that do something on activation and uh, perhaps have something to do with uh, with with water in in some way. So that's why I'm going to be banning uh, Tear Laments Kit Kalos. <laughs> wow. no, let's go! Right, yeah. Good, in, the meantime, man. in the meantime, in her place, we will be banning uh, Elder Entity Norden. Uh, yeah, I... RJ said this in between <sighs> games. This lived for two years. I in cannot TV. believe it. It does make me sad that we are banning this before Neptibus comes out, so I can't play him in Mermails. But yeah, it should never have made it long enough for me to be able to do that. Uh, would you like to hit something else as well? Uh, yeah, I will say Lavalval Chain is uh, it's definitely a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Um, That's true. It, yeah, true. I agree. Yep. I, I have agree. heard that said before. That's very true. And you know, while I I do uh, I do appreciate this deck uh, in its current form, I think being able to resolve this effect multiple times in a single turn is probably too much. So probably just putting it to one is enough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, in Junior Journey, what he amounts to is potentially more material for yeah. summons from the extra deck, and then an eighteen hundred dude, which I feel like is not enough in. Uh, junior journey, but like three of him and a bunch of stuff that's material for Ixies monsters or synchros, probably too much. It's like functionally just better wind up, right? He's just yeah. like Zen Maity too. Yeah. Yep. Um. Well, we gave uh, Jaxel a crack at it. Uh, Bean Soldier, you want to ban some stuff? Absolutely, absolutely. Um. So I know it's a card that didn't really see a whole lot of play in this episode, but in testing, the card was crazy, and Kieran needs to go. Our bad. Yeah, we <laughs> 100% our fault. <laughs> what Whoops. did we say? Like, uh, this card is really good, but probably not as good in junior format because there are a bunch of bigger things. Let's leave it at one. There's no way this has any effect on the format. I yeah. fell for the old RJ special. <laughs> oh. I mean... I mean, come on, guys. He's he's just he's just Pleiades. Speaking of Pleiades, Bean Soldier, you got something else for us? Um, I also, I guess, have a, a, a funny hit, a comedy hit. Um... This is definitely a card that we saw a lot of in the games, but I don't think it's fair to ban it outright, especially for Galaxy players and Photon players. So let's put Galaxy Soldier to one. 
that is a comedy hit. It's Photon Caesar tier funny. It really is. Uh, I love how the Photon and Galaxy deck is just getting hit on the peripherals because their guides are all just tour guides. Like, every monster yeah. in the deck that's playable is tour guide, and tour guide is just good enough to hit. I think one thing to also bring up, too, I think it's also a pre-hit to 2016, because don't we get Infinity next set? Yeah. Next year? We do get CDI, yeah. 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 That's going to yeah. be a disaster. Well, in order to avert some disasters, uh, RJ, are you ready to make some hits based on stuff that didn't happen in the episodes? Yeah, absolutely. There were some things that did not show up today, but have absolutely been showing up on the junior circuit. Things like Overdrive Teleporter, which is just... See you. Just like tour guide, but better, because it gives you two materials in addition to it, as opposed to just one. Speaking of things that give you two materials, Rescue Cat doesn't have the Arata yet. Got to go. No Arata yet. Yeah, so the <laughs> Raccoon deck has been awesome and has been destroying the world in the Junior Discord, and unfortunately it is time for us to take its greatest tool behind the shed. One that did exist in one of our people's decks and they didn't play it at all. Brilliant Fusion has been responsible for a bunch of bullshit. Uh, did you know you can send Blue Eyes White Dragon and Lapis Lazuli and then add the Blue Eyes back? I didn't. I love the fact that that's true. It just makes me you so You get one happy. of these, folks. You get yeah. one. And then everything else, we've got a bunch of uh, bullshit that's currently on the limited and semi-limited list that I think we have proven conclusively does absolutely nothing. Uh, so let's just rapid fire go through that. Flame Ogre to two. RJ, thoughts? Flame Ogre to two is awesome. One of the mascots of the series, and he just makes me so happy. And drawing a card for the normal summon of a guy, not that great in 2015. We gave Galaxy Eyes uh, players a huge hit in uh, Limiting Soldier. Why don't we give him a buff? Gept to two? Sure, why not? A 3,000 dude for the format. Uh, also, incidentally, this was the year that Crush Guard got Narada, and being able to just blanket destroy 1500 ups is funny and not nearly as good as it could have been with the ability to destroy draws a and not be abused from deck. You can have Crush Card to three. Yeah, we don't we don't care about this one anymore. No. Speaking of eroded cards, Sangan uh, gets its errata in 2016. Let's move that sucker to two. Absolutely, and a ban of passion in the moment that I think should never have been done. Zen Mighty should be back at two. Bring him back. Absolutely. Looking at our uh, semi-limited list, we have some stuff on here that's just absolute dog. Uh, Ultimate Obedient Fiend, terrible, <laughs> terrible card. <laughs> Ultimate Tyranno, uh, also very bad. A couple of cards that uh, the worst, most annoying person that plays junior format will really like to hear. Burden of the Mighty and uh, Gravity Bind can probably go to three now that we have monsters that don't have levels and we're just going to get more of them. Probably. And finally, would you like to talk about the final Unlimit, a card that might actually do something? Dust Tornado is a card that has been limited since basically day one of Junior Journey format, and it has needed to be limited for a long time, but now I think we've moved beyond it. This card is sick. Uh, I really like it potentially being in the format, but it also just does nothing in the face of the fact that monsters run the world now. It's like we put it at one because we were like, no, it helps you cheat one of the three resource limits. I mean, imagine thinking about resources when one player just made eight lava all chain. Like, <laughs> really not a consideration anymore. Yeah. And with that, I think we have resolved all of the outstanding crises. 2016, I believe, is going to be the most promising year of Junior Journey yet. Uh, just like it was the most promising year of, um, you know, uh, actual normal alpha timeline. Uh, I, I'm just uh, thinking back to that year, all of my happiest memories, and I'm sure that it will be replicated on the dueling stage. Only good things happened that year. Real quick, I want to give you two a chance to pimp out your channels. Jaxel, what do you do online? Folks, uh, my name is Jaxel MS from the Curry Bandits. Um, we, uh, we, uh, we just recently celebrated two years on YouTube uh, and only just recently started making good videos. Uh, I make um, set breakdowns. Uh, basically go through every card you need to know about for any upcoming product. And Mr. Bean Soldier TV? Yeah, uh, again, Mr. Uh, Bean Soldier TV. And um, I mainly do vlog content. Um, I would say very similar to content that like Ruggles and Nimnim do. Um, I also do some discussion content, and we have some really exciting series coming up too. If you want to also follow me on Twitch at Bean Soldier TV, I stream like, you know, two times a year. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, excellent. Wow. <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, RJ, are you prepared? I am prepared. See you on the other side, everyone.